Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the dialog UIs. Uh, they're currently in beta. If you don't have it, you got to turn on beta features. Um, if you don't know what it is, this thing right here. Uh, let's get right into it. Alright, so first you're going to pull out your maker pen. Go to your palette and then type in dialog UI and then spawn in the little arrow. And then go to your tools, configure. I'm gonna configure at least, you don't have to. Uh, I'm gonna change the colors. And then, um, Perlinkle, I guess. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Text color could be black as well. And then I'm gonna turn off the title. The title is the thing at the top right here. Um, there's only text there, but they're the same color, so it's not gonna show. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn that off. Um, I suggest moving your circuit board above it or away from it because the circuit floats are really messy. Um, yeah, okay, so first you're gonna grab a if and you're gonna do if equals and then you're gonna want to Grab a dialog UI. Oops. Dialog UI. Uh, get title text. I believe. Dude, oh my god, I forgot the chip name. What everyone? Slight intermission. Yeah, okay. Dialog text. You're going to want to connect the target to the yellow thing at the very top. And then connect the body text to the top equals and then connect the red on the equals to the if and then connect the button one pressed to the if chip as well um we'll do this part now okay so i don't want all four of these buttons i only want two so i'm gonna disable turn this and button three and four to false so they don't show up uh, so now if i do that i want to show those too um, for my questions or what I'm going to write on them, you can personally write whatever you want, but I'm going to do, um, hello there. And then do, hey there, what's up for the body text? The body text is this thing right here. Uh, so if I set the body, hey there, what's up? And then you have hey there, and then I'm gonna do what is your rec room? Boom. So now I'm gonna copy the body text and put it over into my eagle ships. Um, this way it can tell what page I'm on. Sadly, I don't think this is a better way to do this. Theoretically, you could do um, a bull variable or an int variable and then add and subtract whenever you go through pages, I think. I haven't tried it yet though. But yeah, you can do that. Okay, but next you're gonna wanna clone this down for every button you have, because this will determine for every page. So boom, button two pressed into there. Um, I'm only gonna keep two buttons, but, oh, also don't forget to wire the body text to the top on this as well. Um. Okay, for buttons, let's say on the next page, I was to do, hold on. Okay, so let's say I was to do three buttons. You would still do button three pressed. Here. You'd still do button three pressed, but you would do the if chip under the different page and not the first one, like it's here. But we'll get into that later. Um. You're gonna to wanna to copy this over into the second button as well. So it's checking if it's the first pages on both of them. Uh, so now when I press this button one, oh, I haven't set up to go to the next page, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so now you wanna to go to set button state and copy it over, not really copy, but set it over over here. Um, disable all the ones you don't want, or technically, Enable them because you're gonna have to manually enable them. Boom, I want button one and two still. And then you're gonna configure the target again. 
to the same spot as you done the first one. So all of these should be wired up. And then you're going to want to do if this equals the starting one, then you're going to want to change it to this one. If it doesn't, you can either go to next page by using if and equals, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to set the text. And then after it sets the text, I'm going to have it set the button state. This way, if I click this, it'll change everything back to the original state. Okay, now I have this set up. Boom. Um, the top one is hello there. And then you're also going to do set body text, I think. Sorry, I'm not used to the UI name for this yet. Um, set, no, not get title text, set title text. Here, set dialog text. Boom. Okay. They're going to wire the end of this, the exec, into this exec, and the target all over here again. It'll look really messy at the end, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Is interactive, and then you can change the body text to whatever. Um, this is, what am I doing here? Hello there. I'm making a spawn there with hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Boom. Hello, hi, hi. So whenever I click button one, it'll switch over to hello, hi, hi. And then I'll do hello again. And then I'll do goodbye. Because I don't want to loop this. I don't want to make conversations. Um, boom. Okay. So for button two, I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to turn it off button two. I don't really need it. But yeah, you can do whatever, of course. Okay. So after I do that... I'm going to then loop this one back because I also want this one to set to the original state. If not, of course, you can copy this over, check the dialog. You'd have to set the bottom of it to the new dialog. Um, that should be everything, right? Okay. Yep. Okay. I forgot to do this one. Oops. I just double clone that. Yeah. Okay. So clone this one down. Set the target, of course the exec over like you've been doing and then change the body text to rec room is a virtual reality game technically it's for everything but you know what i mean um um i'll do that's cool and i'm gonna say we'll button two again it's too many buttons for me man um Something you could do is if you're doing multiple pages, you could do a go back button and just have it loop. So you check the page and then you'd say if button four was pressed, you'd get the page. And then if it equals the page that you currently have it on with the go back button, you'd loop it to the last dialogue that you just did before that. And then that'll put you back a page. But boom, recommend is a virtual reality game. And then, so boom, okay. So now that everything's set up, it's not crazy, but uh, it sure is messy. But now if I come here and I click hello there, I say hello, hi, hi, to what I've set up here. Where is it? Uh, right here. Hello, hi, hi. And hello again, goodbye. It'll send me back to the first page because I have it coming up through here and then resetting the text and the button state and if i click the second one what is rec room recommend a virtual reality game and boom that's cool and i'll send back um as i said you can clone this over and make it go on longer boom clone but you set this to okay. You'd set this to recommend a virtual reality game for the second one, for example. And then the top one, you'd keep under this same chip. And then instead of the else looping directly back there, you'd make the else loop to here. And then the else loop back, if you wanted to go back, of course. And then the then would be you'd set the text again. Through the same thing, but you'd just clone the chips over. And use those. 
But I'm not gonna do all that. Um, this is plenty to get you guys started and going. Um, I hope this helped. I get it. Like, I may be a little messy, but <laughs> I'm sorry. If you need any help, comment down and I'll definitely help you out. Bye bye.